This challenge is called PW Crack 3. It is a medium level challenge from the general skills category in the Beginner Pico Mini 2022 event. The description says, can you crack the password to get the flag? Download the password checker here and you'll need the encrypted flag and the hash in the same directory too. There are seven potential passwords, with one being correct. You can find these by examining the password checker script. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to download the three files associated with the challenge to our working directory. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our web shell, and then we're going to create a directory to work with this challenge in. So it's going to be mkdir pw check pw crack 3. Okay, and then we enter the directory and we're going to download the three files now. So it's going to be wget and then space and then we're going to go over to the challenge page and we're going to first download this file over here. Select copy link address, and then paste in the address. The second file will also do the same thing, wget space, and then over at the challenge page, the encrypted flag, flag is the link. So we're going to right click that and select copy link address. Then the web shell, paste in the address and download that. And then the third file, we're going to do the same thing, wget space. And then the word hash over here is the link. Copy the link address and then paste in the address inside of our web shell. So it's wget for each one of these, then space, and then paste in the address. Then hit enter to download the file. Okay, so we'll know we know that um, we're ready to start the challenge when we have these three files: level three dot flag dot txt dot enc, level three dot hash dot bin, and level three dot pi. All right. So first of all, let's take a look at what happens when we just try to run the level three dot pi file. Okay, it's going to ask us please enter the correct password for flag. We don't know what the password is. So we type test and it says that password is incorrect and it, we are, it exits the program. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to take a look at the code inside of the level3.py file. So we can do so with the nano text editor. So it's nano level3.py. Okay, so what we'll see here is that we have some variables first flag underscore inc is open level three dot flag dot txt dot enk enc rather and that's in read mode so this is the contents of the file level three dot flag dot txt dot enc and then we've got our correct underscore pw underscore hash which is opening level three dot hash dot bin in read mode okay and so those two variables are there then we have our hash underscore pw function with our pw string argument so what this is going to do is it's going to apply a hash to the password string so this looks like it's using md5 hashing and then we've got our main function over here, which is level three PW check. So it's going to ask for the correct password for the flag as input in this user underscore PW variable. 
and then it's going to hash that input using the user using the hash underscore pw function on the user underscore pw variable and that's going to become a new variable called user underscore pw underscore hash all right and the function says if the user underscore pw hash is equal to the correct underscore pw underscore hash then it's going to print welcome back your flag user and it's going to do the decryption the decryption function on the flag and print out the flag otherwise it's going to print that password is incorrect so the last thing that um the last thing that happens oh the last thing that is executed inside of the script is level 3 pw check so the definition of the function is up here but the actual function call is down here and over at the bottom of the script it says the strings below are seven possibilities for the correct password only one is correct and there's a list over here pos pw list and it has seven different four character strings in it okay so the way that we we're going to solve this challenge is we're going to modify the level three pw check function over here and what we're going to do is we're going to have it include these seven passwords and try to brute force each one of these to see which one of these items inside this list is correct so what we need to do first is we need to include this we need to include this list into the function but first we need to make sure that the function call happens after after this list is initialized so we're going to put the function call level 3 pw check after the list over here okay and then we're going to modify this function in the following ways okay so first of all, user PW is going to be, we're going to modify this and we're actually going to delete it. Instead, we're going to provide a for loop. So for PW in POS underscore PW list, Okay, we're going to do user underscore PW underscore hash is hash underscore PW. And we're going to provide the each one of these items, the PW. Okay, and then we're going to provide an if statement. If Oh, okay, the if statement is going to be inside of the for loop. Okay. So we just need to put the if statement over here. Otherwise, we need to modify the following lines. So in this line over here, description, we're going to need to modify this so that it is PW instead of um, user underscore PW. So we also need to modify the indentation on these, on these lines over here. So under the if statement, okay? So if under the if statement, we need to indent one more level. And that should be all we need to do. Save and exit by doing Control X. Save modified buffer, yes. And then press Enter. And then we can run the script again. Python space level3.py. And we get our flag, PicoCTF. 
mash flinging, copy the flag, and then go over to the PicoCTF challenge page. At the bottom of the challenge description, paste in the flag and click on submit flag. And we're done. Hey there, hacker frogs. Are you enjoying this workshop? Learning new concepts and skills? If so, there's a way you can support the channel. And it's totally free. Just click on the subscribe button below the video. Also, click on the like button. And if you have questions or comments on this workshop, please leave them below the video. Thanks for listening. And now, back to our scheduled programming.